Hey guys, William here. Uh, today I'll be reviewing three different mouse expressed. Uh, I bought these all from Amazon and uh, I needed them because I want to kind of make sure my ergonomics is correct since I'm working mostly from home nowadays. And also I do have a wrist press for my keyboard already, so it makes sense to kind of get one. So when I was looking, I tried to look for the highest rated ones, which uh, happened to be these three here uh, as of January 2021. and that's why I bought these three. So uh, this one here is a Ling Fire. Uh, this one comes to $19 and this is one of the more expensive ones. You can see it's got a nice concave design. Looks comfortable but we'll get to that. And we have the Brillo. So this is the Brillo original. This one costs uh, I believe $13 for this. And this is the upgraded Brillo which costs a dollar more at $14. And so you can see the size difference between the two Brillas. This, this one's quite a, a, quite a bit bigger. Uh, also, it's a little bit more raised. So I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. So in terms of like um, overall height differences from the highest point, which is highest side point to the center, uh, the Ling Fire here measured to be around 2.25 centimeter and then followed by the upgraded Brilla, which comes to be 0 0.76 from the highest point to the lowest point, 0 0.76 centimeter, and with the original Brilla coming to uh, 0 0.56 centimeter. So what that means is that in terms of um, levelness, like the, this original Brilla is actually a more most level of the three and the Ling Fire one is uh, actually the most concave of the three here so you can see that it's quite a difference here. Uh, so let's have a look at the memory foam just because they're all memory foam pads. Uh, you see how I realigned them. It's because uh, I aligned them based on the softness. So the Ling Fire one actually has the softest of the th memory foam for the three, followed by the upgraded Brilla, and then finally followed by the original Brilla. Um, so this is soft. So it's soft, but at the same time, it kind of bottoms out. So that kind of translates to the overall comfortability, which I'll talk about in my next section. Um, right now, I'm going to talk about the bottom. So which you can see here, they have two anti-skid uh, skate here on the Ling Fire, and for the two Brillas, uh, pretty much the whole bottom is the anti-skid skate. So what that means that these in terms of performance, uh, these two are pretty sturdy. They don't move that as much compared to the Ling Fire. Uh, if for general usage for the Ling Fire, it's fine. But I do notice that if I were to move my mouse backwards for whatever reason, like and then I kind of push or pull towards myself a little bit, um, the wrist rest actually moves very easily. So let's say if I today I'm in the middle of a uh, play some game and I moved it I can definitely sense the wobbliness and also I I find that I have to reposition myself my mouse wrist rests quite often when I use it as compared to uh, these two brillas uh, these two brillas are pretty solid they stick they actually stick when they, were, when they were brand new but as you can see they're both kind of covered in dust right now um, so I gotta just kind of rinse them the water to wash them off um, so this one in theory should have better I guess uh, grip on the table than the original because it's bigger making more surface contact or contact surface but uh, uh, this is not the case for whatever reason this one is a little bit curved when I got the product versus the original Brilla which is pretty much like leveled so that translates into a slight wobble when I use it. Uh, again, not, not enough to kind of really make it move as much as a Ling Fire, but it's just a slight wobble I notice when I'm using it. Uh, so in turn of, um, I guess, the better bottom of the three product, I would say the Brilla original is the best, followed by the Brilla here, upgraded, and third being the Ling Fire which uh, it's not bad, but it moves a little bit when you kind of apply a force. Uh, so kind of moving to the next section here. So the overall comfort. So in terms of overall comfort, uh, I'll start from the lowest. And to me, the Ling Fire actually ha is 
the least comfortable of the three mouse pad. Uh, it's partly because the memory foam is very soft and what that means is that it actually bottoms out pretty easily and when it bottoms out it kind of you kind of left to make contact with the hard plastic on the bottom so you can see that when I press down this is about as low as it gets before you start feeling the hard plastic and when I risk my put my hand on the bottom like this I can start I can feel the plastic start digging into my wrist, which uh, is not very comfortable after 30 minutes of use. Um, I do, and one thing I, to note is that I do like how they designed the thing in the middle to have a groove, which kind of avoids the nerve. But uh, the padding around it, again, is too soft, so it doesn't offer enough support. And so, again, it just digs into the plastic at the very end. So, to me, is this is the least comfortable to use. Um, in terms of the two Brillas here, uh, they're pretty much identical except for the height difference. Like I said, this one has a little bit more divot than the original Brilla and I don't actually like the divot that much because uh, I, I told you guys that this actually is the second softest or softer compared to this one here. So what that happened is um, the edge kind of I guess like it kind of pushes down so you're feeling more of the side kind of squeeze between you so when you put your hand down there the two side kind of kind of hugs this hugs your wrist and for some reason I, I just don't find that comfortable so I would say this is not as comfortable as the original Brilla which to me is the most comfortable because it's firm so it doesn't actually like collapse the foam doesn't actually collapse around your wrist and uh, yeah it, that's pretty much it so that's this is a quick review of my mouse express so hope you guys uh, learned something from it and i'll see you guys next time thanks mm -hmm.